the limitations of the preferences are acquired accumulations of the mind this accumulation is what is known as karma this set of preferences tendencies they are known as karms or sanskar because happened through our own actions happened through the individuation process of the universal mind now remember that it is not my bondage <laughs> it is just happening it is not my suffering it just appears so right now right here it's not there right now right here the awareness is completely reflecting that which is what is there is ignorance in the mind it cannot look at all these things and think about it in a in a coherent way lost in these thoughts for a seeker the thought means something else it is the thought that i am bound it is the thought that i am suffering the i am i am i am me 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 behind every thought there is i you must have noticed the freedom is already there only the forgetting is also there <laughs> you see remember and it will be taken care of so i know i know it's kind of we are at the bottom so we don't see the full picture remember this is not going to last human life is like a flash in the pan like a broken star have you seen the shine for a split second gone the fallen stars this is how this is how long a human life is it looks like you know i need to live for so many many years in this suffering this human existence no it is a suffering because of our own doing isn't it is our own doing no no, no i'm good this society is bad the world is bad. it is also you <laughs> there are no boundaries there there is this just like there is this individual karma there is this tribal karma once you free, are free from the individual karma you you will find you will face this big wall of tribal karma you will there's no escape from these things so don't worry it's a big big battle it's a long one therefore it takes many many lives get the big picture once you accept that it's not one or two days work you will become peaceful otherwise you will be in a hurry to fix everything oh my, my mind does not do this my mind is well you scratch the surface of the mind there and obviously it won't do that <laughs> which you want it's like uh, mount everest you scratched a little stone there you want to fix it fix the little stone it won't budge it is already 100 kg now look at the mount everest is it even possible so i was like this you know i wanted to finish all this karmic stuff and liberation life and death in 6 months made a time table <laughs> i want to fix it in 6 months because this is how the smart people are you see so i'll manage it and you see many many years have passed i've stopped counting actually <laughs> it's a slow progress as soon as i fix something there is something bigger that is standing in the way remember we are not helpless there is always help even if you don't have a living guru there is help you need to ask for help that is the problem nobody will ask for help they will think it is crazy you know now what is the, what is the difference between asking for help and praying to this and that invisible god and there is a difference if you ask for a new car or a new girlfriend or the gods are useful for that and may happen may not happen you see depends on the god when you ask for liberation it is guaranteed that you will get the help now it may not look like help that is you know i need to warn you for that I mean, the spiritual path is not simple what you think is good may not be good what you think is bad may not be bad sometimes it is exactly that but it will be like this you ask for freedom from addictions suddenly next day you will wake up with stomach pain i ask for happiness and what is this you see you will feel it that you will you will know this is not your doing nothing material is involved here you will feel that when you get such kind of help it will be mysterious kind of help and you will see it is because drinking excess coffee you know i'm just giving my example again now you have no choice but to leave that habit because immense pain you see the digestion is gone now thrown out of the window you have no choice the mind has no choice the pain has been made so intense that the mind gives up oh okay now i understood why it is there and now you're freed from that habit 
sometimes the help will come like this and it the mind the ego will always interpret it in this way you say that i don't want to be i don't want this bondage of relations I, my life is not to be defined by people from this moment will nothing will happen because the body can be controlled suddenly but because other minds are involved other people are involved their will is involved so nothing will happen suddenly but after two or three years you will find there are corals there are now people who loved you will betray you and so on suddenly there will be dislike for your friends and all will leave you now you will sit and cry why people are like this why they left me why i'm, I'm i had to leave many you know this will also happen because now by now you have forgotten your wish the help that you asked since it was for liberation it it will happen this is guaranteed so you should remember you be careful what you ask for because you will get it now, what people ask for they ask for stupid things make me king make me president of india and so on. these things are not given have you seen never happens hope is always there it will never happen as soon as you ask for liberation from the world from the illusion from the ignorance it is a guarantee that it will happen the universal mind the flow of the universal mind is such that it will put you on that path as soon as you wish for it the wishing also is a universal event it is not my wish really the time is ripe so the fruit is now big enough to be taken out to be harvested so very interesting because i have i have heard this concept of harvesting some from some seekers that there after many many years there are these cycles of harvesting the minds that are ripe enough they are taken out of this illusion the maya the virtual reality they are taken out of it and this is also almost mechanically it happens you see the liberation or the enlightenment are it is not in hands of anybody you get the government cannot start a project you know department of enlightenment is <laughs> impossible it will happen like seasons if it rains it rains no there is no department there to make it rain it is a natural process the ripening so in my blogs i'm i'm calling it ripening a guru is a result of ripening his guru has not done anything nobody has done anything so even if you don't ask for help it will happen the only thing is it will be slow as soon as you are asking for help that means it is time the time is right now to for ripening and and then your life is going to become hell you see so hopefully i did not drift too much from uh, the topic and uh, as you can see these matters are not so simple the matters of the mind are not simple everything is so complex and interconnected that i can go on talking like this revealing to you when link after the other that is in the mind you are thinking that you are failing in one or two habits it is tiny or anything look at the mount everest that you will need to climb that will put everything in perspective now your big problem is a small problem isn't it <laughs> it's very small so go ahead face it walk on the path because it is difficult do not expect easy things here mind will say many times let's go back you can go back it's not big issue you won't be able to stay back you'll bounce back on the path that's why you know i have said this many times that we do not choose the path the path will choose you <laughs> <laughs>